G'day guys. So, I've had a few people ask me in the past how these VSRs work. It's a voltage sensitive relay, so it's actually part of this dual battery system, this camper van, and basically, this is the highest. Basically what happens is, once the battery in the front gets to a set voltage, that goes click and joins the two batteries together. So normally that'll only happen when the alternator's on and charging, um, or whatever reason the battery in the front's getting charged by some source. So at the moment, oh, we're in the high 12 still, nearly 13 volts in their back battery. Now I had this running for a while before, um, seeing if the uh, thermo fans kicked in at multiple speeds or if they went the same speed as the aircon, but I digress. So, it's got a bit of a vibration, we just got to pull that apart. That, that battery must be in pretty good health because uh, still got 12 and a half volts. And we have those two, those two, and that fluoro all running off it right now. So, we'll stop the noise from this. I'll just turn the thermostat down for a minute. This is a 13.8 volt 40 amp power supply. Commonly used to run stereo equipment and uh, radios, etc. There's our vehicle's front battery. That's the one that runs directly off the alternator and runs all the standard vehicle systems in the high ace. It's no different to a standard high ace in this regard. It just has a positive line that goes back to that VSR. So now when I flick this on, Give it a minute. The voltage sensitive relay realises that there's power in the front battery higher than the back one. It goes click and starts feeding some this way. Now through the little leads that are on that charger, you're not going to get that great of amount of power through it. But as you can see, look, we're over 13 volts. And creeping up. That's including all these lights running at the same time, mind you. So this keeps your back battery and your vehicle charged with very little effort. Um, DC to DC converters are good, but they also use power to uh, do that boost. If you've got a close proximity system, there's that battery. There's the front of the van. Uh, there's only a meter in it. There's no reason why you can't charge this back battery off the alternator with a VSR. Now, the VSR will not push power backwards from this battery into the vehicle's battery. There is models that will allow you to connect the two so that you can start the vehicle in case the vehicle's battery fails, goes flat, so you leave your headlights on, but you've got power in your home battery, house battery, whatever you want to call it. Pretty quick and simple rundown of how a VSR works. That is all these vehicles run. This is a higher high ace. Uh, no solar up on the roof yet. That's all they run. Just a simple VSR. So that's enough. That's a 120 amp amp tech 12 volt AGM in there. Um, and like, like I said, that's been run on the fridge. I turned this off like two hours ago. It's been running all these lights in the fridge on and off because it's actually quite warm out at the moment for uh, a couple of hours. And we still had. 12 and a half volts, no stress at all. So now that you've heard that VSR click and do its thing, um, that, that's exactly how they work, that's as simple as it is. If the vehicle's uh, alternator is struggling to keep up with aircon, thermo fans, the cooling fan, headlights, radios, all the stuff going at once, it'll disconnect the VSR, concentrate on keeping everything in the vehicle running, and uh, will not... Um, will not charge this back battery until it comes to the stage where it's ready to transfer some amps. Now those VSRs are good for 140 amps apparently, the wiring on this one's not anywhere near heavy enough for that, but also you probably don't want it heavy because the AGMs don't like charging it any more than about 30-35 amps. It's a bit rough on them. Um, you won't get the most cycle times if you charge it that fast. But there you go. There's a, a AC charger for this one in there as well. That's only a 10 amp thing. That's only barely going to keep up with the lights, to be honest with you. 
uh, let alone the fridge. But when you've got AC connected, the fridge is 240 and 12 volt. Uh, I only noticed this because I unplugged the lead to it the other day. When I unplugged it, the fridge skipped a beat and then kept going, uh, which is just a relay inside the fridge changing over. So that, that's cool. It's a 240 and 12. So if you've got AC or grid power, you can uh, run it off that. If you've got uh, a dead battery but you've got a gen set, you can run it all off that. Charge your battery and do that at the same time. This bus, not so much. I've bought another bus. It's up in uh, New South Wales that we've got to bring down, um, me and a friend. And that one will get a much bigger power system because that one's going to be an entirely self-sufficient motorhome. Big water, big storage, big power, big solar. That's going to be a bit of a different different kettle of fish. We may even put in an independent alternator in that vehicle just to charge the power system in the bus. Stay tuned for that. That's next after this one's done. We're going to do some work to this one first. So that is how a VSR system works. Hopefully that um, answers some questions for you guys. Really cheap. Um, I'll link one in. I'll link one from Banggood.com in the top of the video description. Like, I'm thinking 50 ish dollars for a VSR. That is the cheapest, easiest, safest way to put in a dual battery system. So, if you need a dual battery system in your boat, car, camper, four wheel drive, earth moving equipment, whatever, to charge an auxiliary battery to run powered things off, grab one of them. Or even if you want to charge one battery bank before your next one. It's that simple. You see in the little box, there's nothing hard about it, it's literally just a relay. And uh, it goes click clack, everything runs, it's happy days. Thanks heaps for watching. Maybe a link to that from banggood.com at the top of the video description. Everything you buy from Banggood gives me a little kickback if you buy it through my affiliate code. Thank you for doing that. It allows me to buy more stuff to review after I've actually paid for it. There's no biased reviews if it's my money. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys.